Hello student. So today we are going to discuss about Microsoft Excel. It's an spreadsheet software. So we will see how we can work on MS Excel and we'll see some of its basic feature. So let's begin with that. Now first of all we'll have to click on this start button and then in the start menu we have few options so we'll look for MS Excel it is over here we'll just single click and we will see this particular screen and here we have options to make a blank workbook or you know it's introduction or a tutorial or different other options so first we'll start with the blank workbook and this is the desktop or the screen of Microsoft Excel as we already know Microsoft Excel is a spreadsheet software means where we can do simple mathematical calculation quite easily okay and it is basically used for some small calculations and doing our uh, general calculation or these type of tasks so first of all we'll see what we have here this is called the menus or now it is called ribbon tab also in the newer version as you can see this is home tab then this is insert page layout formulas and so on so we will be covering these one by one in our later upcoming videos so let's begin with this option as new and then again we'll choose the blank document so this is it these are called column headings and columns are numbered as a b c d e and so on and these are called rows as one two three four five six so on it goes till 10 lakh 48 576 please remember in each sheet we have 10 lakh 48,576 rows and 16,384 columns okay so we will if we want to see then what we can do just place your cursor at the very beginning in the left corner in the first cell and then press control and then down arrow key and you can see we are quickly scrolling down to the last row that is 10 lakh 48,576 alright how I have done just press the control button and then down arrow key now if you want to go up then what we'll do we'll press control button and up arrow key so we are coming back to the first row same way if I want to move sideways and I want to go to the last row sorry the last column of this sheet what I can do is pressing the control button and holding and then right arrow key so look at this this is the last column with column heading X F D okay so this is actually 16384th column okay now you want to come back then holding the control button and pressing left arrow key I'll come back to the first cell address so as you can see the first cell address is a1 and it is shown here in the name box so our name box is showing the first cell address right now where my cursor is this is also called cell pointer here in ms excel we call it as cell pointer so presently we are in which cell a1 let's say i'll click over here so this is my current cell okay and this is my cell pointer so i can always check in the name box it is showing h8 so this is my current cell address where my cursor is and it is shown here in the name box okay likewise i'm clicking over here it is c10 all right now coming to this this is called formula bar 
where we will insert some formulas and with the help of formulas we will do the simple calculations okay and here it is showing sheet number so presently i am in sheet number 1 you know that an excel file is also called a workbook it is called a workbook and by default its name is book 1 book 2 unless i will not save it and each workbook that means an excel file has by default there are actually sheets okay and if i wish i can add more sheets in it so presently i am in sheet number 1 and each sheet has how many it has 10 lakh 48576 rows and xfd is the last column that is 16384 fourth column all right now we will begin with a small what you call a table here okay so what we can do is we can always try doing uh, making a workbook here okay so let's begin with <coughs> let's say okay i should start with the first row let's say i'm making a simple sheet with let's say name of the student in the first column then some marks like say in science then english then hindi let's say and then computer and then let's say okay you can say history all right now here i have total all right so first we'll doing this much only now you can see for the name this space is not good enough so one thing i can scroll or drag Dra dragging it to my left or to the right to increase or dragging towards my left to decrease the width so this is one way of doing okay then same way i need more space for each of the vertical subject so i can easily do this by dragging towards my left or for decreasing towards right now to make it bold quite simple i will select the whole row and can make it bold okay you can increase the font size etc you can you know place it in the center by using this alignments okay now i am filling some records let's say name of the student let's say ajay then sumit then let's say rohit then vijay and then let's say rahul etc you can fill as many as you can now his marks in different subjects let's say it is unit test out of 20 so he has scored 18 in science ajay has scored 18 in science then 14 in english 12 in hindi then 17 in computer and then 14 again in history same way for sumit we'll go quickly now let's say we are entering his marks okay then for rohit let's say it is okay 6 now vijay 19 16 15 12 and then let's say 18 and for rahul we have taken let's say these many marks okay now to do the total this is quite simple you will not do it manually we will use the function of ms excel so one way is call auto sum feature this is something which is very useful for this what you need to do is start selecting the cell addresses okay so i need to do the total of all these subjects for ajay so what i'll do i'll just click on the first cell and will drag down till total 
I will drag till the total and I will press the button call auto sum will give me the sum of all the marks of all the subjects okay that is quite simple same way you can drag towards your right and you can do for sum it and then for row it and all other this is one way of doing but that is not good enough when you have too many students in your class so I'll give you one more trick is what you can do is just click over here in the first row where I have already done the total and you can see in the bottom right corner there is a black a green square box is there and when I am placing my cursor over here it is changing its shape have a look at this yes now when it is in this shape just press the mouse button and hold it and then drag it down once you will drag it down look at this it will do the total for rest of the student that is quite easy if you have too many students you can drag it down in this way and you can to easily total of five students six students or the hundred or one thousand students so what I have done I have entered the name of the student their marks in different subjects and just by applying the method for totaling the first student I have got this total and for the rest I have simply dragged it down to get the total of all other students so I think this is just the introduction and I hope that you must have understood and please try this at your home and make a small table or a sheet and enter the marks and do the total for the number of student and in the later video we will be adding more features of MS Excel now I'm closing it and I don't want to save it okay so that's all for today